A sun-drenched gig lane is the backdrop as Bury hosts Charlton this afternoon on the opening day of the League One season. After a 16th place finish last season, Bury will be seeking to consolidate their status in the division. Whilst for Charlton, new manager Russell Slade will seek to add stability and experience to the club following relegation from the Championship in May. Well, Charlton have found the back of the net in the last 12 season openers, winning last time out 2 0 against QPR. They'll certainly be hoping for a bright start to life in League One this season. As for Berry, well, they're winless in the last four games against Charlton in all competitions. We'll be looking to reverse that this afternoon. Fox. Back to the goalkeeper Rudd. It'll be really interesting to see how Charlton adapt to life in this division. Got some defending to do here. That's the strike. Comes in from range. Well, Charlton have 1,000 fans on Sacred Lane today. It's really good away support for a club. Touch some hope. And the ball goes out for a corner kick. Plenty of bodies forward for Berwick. Delivery's good too. Asking the question, the goalkeeper. Effort from range was uh, rather speculative. Johnson. Chopping pushing the ball around quite nicely. Nicky Jose. And Jose looking to dig out the cross and does so very well indeed, but the final execution was lacking from Lee Novak. We're coming up to 23 minutes played and no goals as yet. Scramble inside the area. Very reprocessed possession. All the way to the back post. Dans. Soars. Very moving the ball from left to right. Very nicely. Hope. Final efforts on goal is poor, but there were just a few signs that Berry are starting to tick in the game. Cameron lofts the ball forward. Berry wanted a free kick too for their troubles. But Charlton now pouring forward in the form of Ricky Holmes. Holmes looking for support now. It's a clever ball inside too. For Croft. Cross just couldn't quite locate another red shirt. Given away very cheaply. Collected now by Nicky Jose, who fancies his chances. And why wouldn't he? Struck the ball so cleanly, did a Jose. That's the closest Charlton have come. With half an hour played. Well, Berwick finished 16th last season in League One. Did reach the fourth round of the FA Cup though last season. As Charlton come forward and Jose's onside. Well, he certainly looked to be onside initially. I think the decision's been given. Good movement though by... A Jose. Strike has just flashed wide. By Pope. Pierce. 
Fox. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, nil-nil at the interval. Not too much in the way of clear-cut goal-scoring opportunities. Holmes digs out the cross. Well, Holmes did well to get round the outside. Both managers will be relatively pleased at the way in which their sides have acquitted themselves defensively. Very manager David Flickcroft has a very measured and diplomatic managerial style. Gained promotion with the club from League Two in 2015. Here comes the cross for Charlton, and it was ever so close to the opening goal of the game. Lee Novak on the stretch. Very pouring forward. One or two gaps and spaces just starting to emerge now. Mayer. Substitute's been lively since he came on. Goes down, wants the free kick, and the referee Nigel Miller is sympathetic to his request. The kick is flighted in, and it's tipped over the crossbar, and it's a fantastic save too by Declan Rudd. A full stretch in the Chelton goal. One or two signs, though, that Berry are just starting to take a grip of this game. And there's a challenge inside the area, and the referee instantaneously points to the spot. The Charlton protestations are in vain. The referee had a really clear view of the incident. Cameron went down in a heap, and... Neil Down steps up and scores. Berry have the lead with less than 20 minutes to play. And just look what it means to Neil Downs. Emphatic finish from 12 yards out. Absorbs the celebrations from his teammates. This game did look to be petering out towards a goalless draw, but Chart now find themselves trailing by a goal to nil. Names with the speculative efforts. Pulls for a foul throw. Ruled by the referee. Soars. Jones. Change with a sweeping ball forward towards Ishmael, the substitute. Well, the substitutions from David Flickcroft have really worked well today. Just giving Barry a greater sense of urgency. And the ball is turned in, is it? Indeed it is. Barry doubled their advantage. Kelvin Atu, who is the man that takes the plaudits from his teammates. It was very scrappy inside the Charlton penalty area. Huge question marks to be asked of the defence. But Berry now is surely on course for all three points. But the corner just wasn't adequately cleared. There were three or four Charlton red shirts back there. But none of them were close to Kelvin Atuhu. And that's the most simple goal to score all season. Barry now pressing for more goals. Looks to be a very miserable opening day of the season for Charlton. They've been relegated from the championship last campaign. Mayer. 
Drag comes in from a two hoop. Last few moments of the game, he sense it's all a bit too little, too late for Charlton. As the corner comes in, Williams, the very goalkeeper, couldn't gather it, and there goes the full time whistle. And Perry have won by two goals to nil. Penalty from Neil Downs after 71 minutes, and then Kelvin, a two hoop, doubled the home side's advantage. And Charlton, on their first match in League One, have suffered a 2 0 defeat. Full time here, Perry two, Charlton nil. 